How is it going everyone? Welcome back to Lucero Gaming. Today I'm going to show you how to start and set up the GP38s 2s and the all new Train Sim World 2. Let's get into it. So I hope everybody's having a great day today and yes I'm going to show you how to properly start, turn off, cut in and cut out the GP38s. So I, I'm going to re reference this locomotive as a, as a Jeep. That's what I used to call it on the railroad. So if, if I say just Jeep then you know what I'm talking about. Down in the description below I'll have everything timestamped to um, all the four different sections that I'll be talking about. So let's check it out. Right now we need to get the locomotive started. Now I do have the handbrake set so it doesn't roll away on us. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do if, if the locomotive is off, you're going to come to here to the control panel. And what you're going to do is you're going to put the knife or this main breaker, or we also call it the knife switch, in. And anything black in this black box, you can see this black box right here, all these breakers have to be turned on in order for the locomotive to start. So we're going to get all this stuff clicked over. And these are your your fill pumps, your, your turbos, I mean, mostly the things that run the generator and the engine. Okay. And they got a few other things up here that you don't need to run, but it's a great idea to get them. Uh, it's a great idea to get them turned on because you don't have to get back into this cabinet. So the radio needs to go on, the lights and the headlights, and we don't need the heater. Utilities will, and the roaring device will turn that on. Electronic devices will turn that on, and we'll turn on the auto drain timer. I don't know what the drain timer is. And you can hear the radio that came on. Okay. And normally if the engine shut off, this isolation switch should be into the start, stop, or isolate, okay? Next what you're going to do is you're going to come out the back door and you're going to look for the side panel with the window. Go, so here's the window, you're going to go to the panel before the window and open up the latches. And so both doors will open, okay? So here's the engine compartment and there's the switch to turn on and off. Turn, sorry, turn on the engine. So first we're going to do is prime it about 5 to 10 seconds or when it stops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So it stopped on its own. And now we're going to start it up. Give it a little bit. Any day now. Try the prime one more time. Okay, for some odd reason, it made me do the prime instead of start. So I guess play with it and see what it does. Okay, so once that's turned on, the local engine is now on, and we're going to close everything up and latch it, and we're going to come back here. So our air is going to be building up and all that stuff. So always before I sit down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look here because there's some other switches right here. And these ones right here are your number lights. And so your number lights are these guys right here. Okay. So as your lead locomotive, you always want those on. So it identifies who you are. Okay. The engine room, you can leave those on or off. It doesn't matter. And then the platform lights. The platform lights are on the side of the back and the front platform. Okay, and one last time before we sit down, we're going to put this to run, and then, since we have a locomotive attached to us back here, yeah, the locomotive right there attached to us, we are going to move that switch, this top switch right here, to where it says, uh, controlling unit coupled at long hood end, okay? So that means that all the lights and everything else will go through that end, okay? So we go down to the next one. It says controlling unit coupled at short hood end. So short hood end, if we had a unit coupled to this side, we'll have that on. 
Okay. And the last one is controlled from another unit coupled at either end. So this is that switch is for that locomotive back there. So it doesn't matter what side you're on. If you're on the short end or the long end, you flip that on and everything will work for you. And last but not least, what we were automatically on is single or intermediate unit. So if we're one locomotive, so if we were just this one right here, we will have that up. Or if we had another unit coupled to this end, and this was in the middle, or any other ones in the middle, you'll have it as intermediate. So for this demonstration, we're going to have it at a long hood end, since that's how we click. Okay, so next, I'm going to show you how to cut in a locomotive. So one last thing before we sit down, I'm going to cut in your independent, and you're going to go to lead or dead. That's how you want to cut that in. Okay, now we can sit down. Now don't knock off this, uh, yeah, you, okay, so that was off. Set up your independent to full, because if you knocked off that handbrake, and that was off, and once your air built up, you'll roll away. Okay? Now, there's two ways to do the automatic. One way is, is to grab it and turn it all the way on, take it all the way to release, and then cut in. That's how I normally do it. You can see that the needles are going up. Okay? The other way to do it, and it doesn't matter how you get it done, as long as it, um, it cut, gets cut in is so again this is cut out what you're gonna do is come here to the cutout valve and go to freight and then knock it off okay now did you notice when I did it that way the second way it started dropping because the minute you cut this in the air that's building up will start leaving the tanks so that's why I like to do it the opposite way but it isn't it's alright whatever way you do it okay and then Reverser will go in, and then I look here and say, okay, ditch lights, step lights, gauge lights. You always want those on because they will help you. The rear lights you want on and to dim. These are your headlights. You want to go all the way to bright. And then the last three important switches are on this side of the panel. And these are your engine run, your gen field and your fill pump. So I'll turn that on, and if so we throttle up, you should hear the engine revving. So you can hear it running. We can't go anywhere because the uh, reverser is neutral, okay? So that's how you start it. Oh, look, there's a, there's a train manifest right there. Okay, cool. So. A few other things that you can do is uh, check your, your horn and bell. Okay, that works and the bell works. And the last thing I want to check is my headlights. So you can see that our headlights, our ditch lights are on and our number lights are on. And is our... Is our uh, platform lights right there okay so now if you're gonna swap ends or get into that other locomotive what you want to do is cut it out okay so you're going to put the reverser it doesn't matter if it's forward or in reverse put it into neutral and remove it come back here knock off all these three switches because you don't it won't run right if these are on so you gotta make sure those are off and these ones, you can leave the gate lights on, but I recommend to turn off the step lights and your ditch lights. Okay, turn off your rear headlights and your head and your front headlights. Okay, and so the, since independent's on, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a set. You can go 70, 80 percent, whatever. It has a set on it. Okay. And then you can either cut it out there and then finish off with the handle off. But I'm going to show you an easier way to do it. You'll go to handle off. Wait, is it 
it there. There it goes. And then cut out. This guy down here, you'll do is cut out and then release. Okay. So now no air is controlled in this locomotive. Everything is cut out. So that's how you want to cut everything out. It, it's it's plain and simple. I think cutting out is easier than getting everything set up. So now I'm going to show you how to turn everything off and have everything dead again in the locomotive. So again, you're going to come back to this panel, okay? And you're going to turn this thing to stop, stop or isolate, okay? And you're just going to push this emergency cutoff button. And you can hear the, the engine turning down. And now you don't hear nothing. So that's good. You're going to get back into this panel and you're going to knock all the breakers off. So all the ones that we flipped, we're going to turn right back off. Yeah, there's a lot of switches in here. Did I get, uh, nope, that one's still on, okay. And then, you can turn these guys off too if you wanted to. Then the minute you pull this switch, it, it cuts all the power to everything, okay. And then, close it back up. You can close the doors. Uh, if you want, you can set your handbrake, which it's, it's still on because I didn't want it to roll while we're doing this demonstration. And now, your locomotive is off again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a quick one. And if you did, and if it does help you, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more. I will be coming out with the SD40s and the big road units in the next videos. Till next time, see you guys later.